Here we are. Welcome. Good morning, MMTs. What a fine day. Today's date, 823 of 2011 time, 9.03 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It is now the lunch hour in New York. How about that? Nice place. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 chart right now, MMT. And I've got to tell you that um, we have the big, as you know, that's that bottom up trade on a weekly level. Then we had that sell back down. But look at right here is a low. We never took out the low of the S&P, just like we said. Here is what the S&P has to do. And here is the challenges that the S&P will have is that green line is a 200-week moving average. The green line is a declining 200-week moving average. Right here. Let's talk about what it means as far as the challenges that the S&P 500 will have. Here that 200 week, wow, my numbers are right on, 1152.06. That's going to be that 200 week moving average. That is the most significant weekly moving average. And throughout this week, we are getting oversold in a three week handle. We are getting down here, and this is public standard technical analysis now. This isn't your MMT platform, but it's what the public and all the big people will be looking at is how oversold in the short term I can get. Why did SMF say over the weekend, prior to any of this happening today and yesterday, is that the VIX, the fear indicator, could pull back in the last half of the month. We could have an upside, but here, remember that the bottom is holding right now, but the challenges are going to be that 200 week. The other thing that's going to be the challenge, if you come up above that 200 week, this trend line right here that you see my arrow go over to, this was a one, two, three, four, five, six week consolidation before it broke out and made its first 52 week 2011 high. And we shorted that down. You can find the live videos. We had a four-week pullback, but look what happened. We gapped up, and we ran it, and we put in another high. But guess what? We called this short, too. And it's on the uh, SMF website. Type in, uh, look for around April, uh, April 25th, 28th, going into, and we said the it, we were going to go down, and we did. And we went down far enough that we had this... Uh, four-week uh, major top that all of my MMTs went through and their trade management and their apprenticeship was right on the money and they were shorting the earning season the good news that came out they would gap them higher and they would take them short and they had a four-week resistance weekly resistance level it started to cave in when the weekly moving averages turned down and the 10 week has been fallen in price and MMTs on a Saturday training session did a weekly moving average mathematical calculation called a beta calculation between the 10 week and all of them between the 10 week the 200 week here's the blue line it's crossed over the 50 week but the thing about it is that this bottom this technical damage that's done right in here is going to be an extreme uh, period of time before you can go from this bear trend reversal it's called a bear market in my view because it's not a bull side right now this is a bear side of the tape right here and it all started right when we said it would and that was the uh, this one here was seven weeks but look at here one week the reversal the second week the third the fourth and the fifth week four weeks down so far they're trying to leverage up short term you're getting to a levels mathematically where you get that bottom up trade but you're still going to have resistance on the S&P right here at that 200 week moving average and that's 1152 so if we break up above it this trend line is major like I said right here because this is where we broke to highs there and it's from this major trend line right here 
to that second reversal high, first reversal of the year, second, and as I said on SMF, that the third reversal before this reversal even happened would be much more severe than the seven week uh, narrow range. People were fighting, the bull was fighting up here, they were trying to keep it alive up here. But what happened is when you take this breakout, this breakdown line right here, and it starts right up here, and you got back above it and you held that support line there. Because you did. This one here. When you broke back above it and reversed back below it, we have gone straight down where the broader part of that selling has occurred. Hold on, I'm going to show you another chart. This is a daily chart that I'm going to introduce that we did a lot of work over the weekend, and this is that uh, VIX, Market Volatility Index, CBOE. It's a fear indicator. And the direct relationship is the S&P 500. That's this weekly S&P 500 right here. When the fear indicator got its original highs, you will know that the next week, during that five-day period, that we had came down and we came back to these lows all the way over here, and we were putting a bottom up when we got oversold here on the S&P at 1101, that was that trade 100 points right up here to the neckline, right there on the S&P. Now, at the same time that that was working in that five-day period, you'll notice that you went down one, two, three, four, five days. You got back up on the fear indicator, but the fear indicator has a reversal to its 10-day simple moving average here. However, we're getting a bid here so, and for this to continue to go up into the, uh, today is 823, so what's left of the dog days of August is that the two, that's going to be a major resistance level, and the S&P is going to have to close above that 200 week. This, on the other hand, if that occurs, then the fear is going to come off, and we could bring that fear all the way back down to this level. And that would be all the way down here at right around the 25 area. That means that we peaked. We've got the daily reversal. That's why we're getting this weekly up move on the second day of the week in this weekly bar. And if I draw a horizontal trend line right there at that green 200-week moving average, here's what you're going to know. It's right over here where we started the breakout back over here on 10-3 of 2010, okay? The fear comes down, we will go through the 200 week. If the fear sets up a consolidation and breaks higher, we will break that low. Right now, we're in a three week bottom phase with the prior last week's distribution and a second new week in play. We have a counter trend on in progress, and we have a breakdown here. That's why individual equities are making their highs. That's another reason why we were just up 200 handles on the Dow, but we were up 200 handles yesterday on the Dow, and it gave it all back. And part of what we're looking at is when that fear contracts, gets less, then more people are happy about being in the market and that trends rather their five-day trend or uh, 10 day or 20 day that's a calendar month that's 20 trading days is is that markets set themselves up we look at the daily fear indicator and the s p came right up to its well right below that 200 week moving average right here that's this so as we move forward in the dog days is the key is that the market doesn't pull back the contraction pullback or diminishing pullback remains at high levels within this broader movement today unlike yesterday we sold short off of them highs and the indexes went all the way down that's part that was Monday today's Tuesday so fear level fear levels come down and as they come down then trends go higher 
and the leadership stocks in the S&P 500 are performing well to the upside in order for you to go up in the S&P 500 index. So if you know what the leaders are in here, well, you trade those long. You can trade the bull long. Uh, right now, the primary focus, it's 9.14 a.m. It's lunchtime in New York, 8.23, 2011. But the primary focus for people to understand is we have to maintain the value here mathematically. The higher the value in each one of these indexes, the more strength that this support level at this double bottom weekly low on the S&P will hold. And same thing with uh, same rule will apply in other broader indexes as well. Good luck. Right now it's working, but remember, we're going to have the wall of resistances coming up this way, and we're going to get uh, support levels here on this fear indicator. And you got the 20 week moving average. We could come right down here, but we're still elevated, and that's going to be 3391 right here, right in here. That's the lower support level. Right now, we need to continue to break down to continue to break higher here. So bull ETFs break higher. Bear ETFs come down in value. Trade management was well planned over the weekend. It's working right now. The contraction, the pullback on an intraday level and the closing bell and the intraday pullback are going to be key as to how strong today is and what the rest of the week looks like going into the Jackson Hole meeting.